by Helga Schutz. The Namibia Football Players Union NAPU has vowed to revamp its image after recent statements by some of its members had impacted negatively on its identity and integrity. NAPU's Firebrand Secretary General Olsen Kahiri Ri has been very vocal in the media as well as social media recently, in his opposition to the Namibia Football Association as well as the SWAPO leadership, and at a press conference on Tuesday, NAPU President Sylvester Lolo Goraseb said that they needed to separate personal views from that of NAPU. We respect the views of our members that are made in the public terrain, but whatever we say on social media affects the image and integrity of NAPU so we took a resolution that we need to separate this image and identity. We have a responsibility as an organization so we want to apologize to our members, the football leadership in the Namibian public at large. If these comments or utterances affected anyone personally then we want to apologize and undertake to refrain from personal attacks. We need to focus on the mandate that NAPU gave us and that is to look after the welfare of the players, he said. I also want to apologize to our political leaders for some political opinions of certain NAPU members. The personal opinions of Lolo or Olsen have got nothing to do with NAPU, but how it affects the image and integrity of NAPU has become a concern. So we want to apologize to President Hei Gaingob and the SWAPO political leadership for any comments made by NAPU leaders in their personal capacity, he added. According to Gora Seb, concerns regarding NAPA's public image were raised by members of the public as well as the International Football Players Union, FIFA Pro. We don't operate in isolation and we need to listen to the advice of our stakeholders, and the way we express ourselves on social media is affecting the image of NAPU. Personal opinions cannot reflect the position of the organization, he said. Goraseb's views, however, had little effect on Kahiriri, who blasted the NFA when his turn to speak came. The struggle against theft and the capture of football, the chaos and conflict in Namibian football is unacceptable, because it also affects the image of Namibia negatively, he said. When asked to elaborate, Kahiri re referred to recent media reports of financial irregularities at the NFA. It was reported in the media that transactions involving the withdrawals of large amounts were made, so we want to get explanations for that. The end beneficiary must be the players, so we are concerned about them. For instance, if N $400,000 was withdrawn at a counter, did it reach the players, or did some of that disappear? It's a concern we have, nowadays why do we carry cash when all the players should have a bank account? We want to see a sound and well-accounted financial administration at the NFA, he said. NAPIS decisions follow a board meeting last Saturday, where several other resolutions were also taken. It was decided to incorporate Stacey Naris on NAPA's board so that they can gain access to her knowledge as a member of FIFA Pro's Africa division. Naris and Pauline Kamonga will also attend a two-day workshop in Botswana at the end of the month which will focus on improving communication and will be conducted by a FIFA Pro representative from Amsterdam. NAPA's secretariat will also work on a marketing strategy as well as an education policy with the aim of uplifting the players. They will also hold a nationwide tour later this year to train and appoint shop stewards, who will be present at their annual general meeting due to take place in November or December this year. Kahiri Ri said they plan to hold a great event. It's our 10th year of existence so it will be a historical event and we want to hold the breathtaking AGM that will be out of this world.